Hello and welcome back to Awakening Legends of Learning. I hope you are doing well. We are here. We are in the Academy. We are going to be exploring uh, pet combinations here today. A uh, lot of really cool things. I'm probably going to be looking into how to decorate my um, uh, classroom in just a little bit. Probably won't have a classroom to join, just a classroom to go ahead and uh, check out. We do have some uh, pets that are going to be hatching though. Let's go ahead and get those uh on the way down nothing legendary but this this one is a cool one all right we have a creeper that's awesome let's go ahead and place this guy in Are here sure all right placed? remember you can speed it up in order to get it uh a little bit faster uh answer some questions and you are good to go all right here we go and let's see what we get this time is it another creeper it's a rare egg so it is not this is a gloom hood. Gloom hood, awesome, awesome. Are Let's you go. sure you want place the egg in this nest? You won't be able to remove it until it's. Yes, I am sure. That's only 39 minutes for those guys, so that is great. We are over here. This is the hatchery. We are gonna go and find where we can explore the elements. Here it is. So this is the. Hall of Beasties that we are exploring right now. Let's talk to this guy. There are seven different types of beasties in Awakening. Beastie moves also have a type. To Felix. Each type is strong against two other types, but also weak against another two. So choose your beasties and moves wisely. All right, so this is the general consensus is, is that you want to go ahead and make sure when you're picking your battles that you are covering all of the different uh, pets um so we can bring in uh four pets so uh for this like this pet right here the bug type you are going to be strong against uh grass plants and then you're also going to be strong against uh rock or stone and so that's that's something you want to factor and this is a really good place to go ahead and plan now also for if you have a plant type beastie that is going to be uh strong against rock and then also strong against lightning and then lightning types they are going to be strong against uh here we have the uh, <coughs> excuse me the air types and then ghost types and then our uh ground types or stone types are going to be strong against lightning and then also ghosties so uh the weaknesses too you kind of have to plan for um this is going to be uh weak against um the bug type and then also the plant type and so if I come on over here, um, you can see that uh, the plant type, it's strong against uh, the uh, stone, which means stone is uh, weak against it. And then also here we have this uh, bug type being strong against stone, so that's against it. So uh, if you know this strengths, you know what it's gonna be weak against you. Fire is strong against plants and against bugs. That definitely makes sense. Um, here we have the air type. Air is strong against fire and then it is also strong against bugs and then our ghosty types are our last group they are strong against air and fire so weak against uh stone and lightning so this is a really good place to plan and to sort of plan your teams and everything like that uh really really neat i love how it looks uh the hall of beasties is a really neat addition to this academy uh let's go ahead and take a quick look over here at what we need to get done today it says play play five arcade mini games complete five beastie battles solve 10 hands of math cards and then complete all daily challenges so i think we're going to go over to um our our math activities which should be let's see here's the math room very cool okay so math cards is going to be right here use the given cards and operators to reach a target number how fast can you find a solution all right, let's see if you can beat me here as we do this. So we have to, um, six, we're doing six. So three minus three, five plus one is six, zero plus six is six. All right, that's one of them. We're going to eight. So uh, we are going to do, let's see, three minus one, two plus two, four plus four. All right, let's play again. And we are going to do 11. So we're going to do 4 minus one, 3. 
five plus five, and then one plus 10. There we go. This is a really good way to get uh, coins as well. Um, so I do this regularly to go ahead and get coins. There we go. Or I, I guess XP. XP is what this provides. So um, if you're trying to climb up the leaderboard, then um, this is definitely a good way to go ahead and uh, get that. All right, I made an error there. Let's go ahead and get this wrong. I was talking and trying to do it, so let's go ahead and see if it gives me another time. It does not give me another chance, so let's go ahead and go back. Oh, we, we this, okay. There's a back arrow, so let's go ahead and go to the back arrow and then uh, see what we were doing. Three minus one. I was talking and doing that, so I bet you guys got that before I did. All right, two plus 10, and there we go. Let's, uh, let's exit and then see. So pretty good amount of gold, pretty good amount of XP as well. Let's see how close we are. We have done five hands, so we'll do um, cards five more. See them. if you guys can beat me here. Uh, so this is pretty straightforward. We'll add these up, make double sevens, and then we'll get to 14. And then to get to two, so three minus one is two, two minus one is one, three minus one is gonna give us two. All right, 13, so we'll do four minus one, and then five plus three, and five plus eight. There we go, I think we have three more. Uh, okay, so we are doing three minus one, three plus two is five, five plus five is gonna give us 10. All right, and we're going to eight. So let's see. This is a really long, thoughtful pause I'm making here. All right, so we're gonna do uh, four minus two, five plus five. That should not have taken me that long. 10 minus two, but that is okay. We're gonna do one more here. And then this is gonna be one plus four, four plus one. Five plus five. All right, I think that we have uh, gotten our daily. Let's see. It looks like we have, and 2950 gold. So uh, pretty good addition there. Solve 10 hands of math cards. Let's claim our reward. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now I still have to do complete five beastie battles and then play five arcade mini games. What's cool about this is I believe that the um, this layout, there is an arcade room up here. I think it's up this way. Um, it's the classroom science room. This is the slide, I think. I love it, woo, that's so cool. Um, and then let's come up this way. I think there's some arcade uh, games up here. Yep, there it is. Inside the science room, we have some, but they are not active arcades. There's some math games down here. Let's see, that's the helipad. And... Okay, this is the science room, but I'm not seeing any of it being interactive. So let's come on down here. Oh, physics, here's the physics to toy box. And then this is the, uh, I believe that is the awakening game area. So you can go ahead and do that. So the science area is still down here. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. Um, so <laughs> have a good one. Keep on uh, awakening on. And uh, there here is the math games. Uh, take care. We'll be back here. And uh, be sure to like, be sure to sub. Um, uh, the likes let me know that you want more of awakening as we play and learn in here. I'm all out of energy, so I do have to answer a question. Uh, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.